Sheffield Wednesday enjoyed their first win over Everton for 22 years when they beat them 1-0 here in the league on New Year's Day. And not surprisingly, manager Howard Wilkinson opts for the same lineup. Number 11, Larry May, will play at centre-back alongside Nigel Pearson with Laurie Madden as sweeper behind them. And those strikers, Lee Chapman and Colin West, have scored 21 goals between them. Well, Everton have changed their strikers around. They try the different combination of Graham Sharp, now recovered from a hand injury, in tandem with the informed Wayne Clark. So Adrian Heath is demoted to substitute. Pat Vanden Howe continues at left back with Neil Pointer still injured. And we pick up the action in the first half. Wilson with the corner. try and sort out with all those bodies in front of him and he'd be grateful to have survived that nightmare conditions for a keeper with this wind and the rain and all those Everton yellow shirts here's Reed. Wilson gets it rather fortunately and tries to set Clark away outside in fact or was it no the Referee has given a free kick to Everton for a foul. And as Clark got away from the defender, he obviously caught him on the ankle. And the referee says free kick. <laughs> Wednesday with everybody back behind the ball. It's set up for Stevens to hit it through the wall. And it was a superb effort. Certainly the difficult thing in those situations is to keep the ball down, and Trevor Stephen did that admirably. Wilson just teeing it up, Stephen's right foot shot through the wall and just wide. Stephen's just managed to keep it in. Snowden back to him. Good looking across the far post, Watson was there! And could have done a lot better. Well, that header found him unmarked. Fine cross it was, too, from the right-hand side by Trevor Stephen. Left-footed to the far post. Watson unmarked. Look at that. Worthington. Oh, a good little flick on. Popped it into space, but Ratcliffe had read it so well. And just put his foot then and has gone down. That's an Achilles or a hamstring or something, but he went down instantly as the cross comes in and then Howe headed it away spectacular clearance by Clark and in the end Everton grateful to clear their lines and Ratcliffe's back on his feet and looks all right again but he certainly seemed to have pulled a muscle maybe a groin muscle in fact by the way he's gone down now pulled up very sharply. I thought at first it was uh, the lower part of his leg, but obviously some kind of groin pull, and that could be very tricky for the open skipper. Back head was so dangerous, and it nearly sneaked through from West, who got a clout on the head as he went bravely for that ball. The referee won't allow play to continue. West is okay, as you see here. He went down where the boots were flying. The referee having given an indirect free kick. It caused all manner of problems here. And Everton have got 11 players in the goal mouth. This is going to be very difficult to defend indeed. Now we'll fix it up to Sterling to hammer it. And how well Southall did in that situation to get out block the ball and towards Chapman and West it came off Watson and Marwood in there and Chapman was in there and in the end Everton scrambled it clear but only just Marwood's corner oh good goalkeeping some ball really needed to uh, Take a firm grip of that situation, and indeed, that's the final action of the first half, a rather scrappy first half, in which the 
conditions played a part in not helping either team to settle and as he takes off his captain's armband I would suggest that, that means that Kevin Ratcliffe may have seen the end of this game but at least Everton have the strong wind at their backs in the second half and that could be an important factor half-time score Sheffield Wednesday nil Everton nil and just to underline the importance of this match no fewer than six different countries are taking live coverage from Hillsborough and there's some of my overseas colleagues sheltered against this uh, Yorkshire weather so Everton begin this second half, the rain pouring heavily again, and as expected, Kevin Ratcliffe, the Everton skipper, hasn't come out for the second half. Alan Harper is on a substitute and has gone to the right-back position with Gary Stevens moving to left-back and Van Den Howe to centre-back to fill the uh, gap left by uh, Ratcliffe's absence. Left on by Chapman to West. That's right behind him, Chapman there again. And Proctor, now Worthington. Harwood running into space well, but Harper just helped it to him, and it was a good first time cross. Oh, and it nearly caught out Neville Southall. Wilson sweeping up nicely behind the Everton defence, but that first time cross really gave Everton some problems. Sheffield Wednesday always at the best when they whip the ball in quickly, as Marwood did then, and almost caught Southall out of position. Madden. header but every time he wins the ball in the air he seems to actually direct it into the wrong part of the field and that's a very good through ball and Snowden onto it quickly the goalkeeper comes out and the bounce takes it just wide of the post he's annoyed and maybe he's every right to be and Snowden there really ought to have done better a superb through ball over the heads of the whole midfield Snowden ran into a very intelligent position Hodge came out to make the angle more difficult. He got it over him. One bounce and it was one. 15 minutes gone in the second half. Sheffield Wednesday nil. Everton nil. In this FA Cup third round time. Peter Reid for Everton. West's header. Half up. Another fine through ball, the same again. Snowden's on the end of it again, and he still pulled it wide. Well, it was like a slow motion replay at real speed, because Harper again played a superb ball from the back. Snowden moving into exactly the same space. You see, as he drifted round the back of the Wednesday defence, almost identical position, quite astonishing. Hodge back pedalling this time, but the same result. Madden again bit tight in there although it's accurate but there couldn't get it sharp could for Everton Harper and Reed Snowden still wanting it not hiding despite those two earlier misses more credit to him for that Stevens and Watson now Everton have got a lot of men forward in this attack Harper all credit to Everton, they're certainly not sitting back looking for a replay. They're really going for a win here. Stevens. The ball deflected to Sharp, and back it comes to Snowden and to Clark. And Everton have scored. The linesman is flagging, but the referee is pointing towards the halfway line and indeed has agreed with his linesman. So Clark given offside what was certainly a sweet Everton move Sharp's header or rather a little deflection there taking the ball through Clark nets but offside given it's a bit lucky to get that deflection Snowden Stephen good challenge again by Worthington his tackling has been superb here's West Madden Worthington again and having to play Neat triangles just to keep possession at the moment, Wednesday. But that's a good ball. It's Marwood into space, and he's got two, three players in the middle. One of them on the far side is Chapman, and he turns it back into it. A score! With 16 minutes to go, the double act of Chapman and West have prized open this FA Cup tie for Sheffield Wednesday. Chapman got it back. 
West with the header. And Sheffield Wednesday are in the lead. Chapman did so well, but so too did Marwood. Lovely ball down the line from Worthington. And Marwood was one of the best crosses in the first division. Right over to the far post. In it came from Chapman. West's header produced the goal. And as the Wednesday supporters on the cop celebrate that goal, Everton are to make another substitution. Wilson has come off. Heath has gone on. Because now it's desperation really for Everton. With only just over a quarter an hour to go in this game. Here's Harper. Heath. Harper again. Two substitutes doing well and a lovely little flick on towards Sharp. And here's Stephen. He couldn't control it. Reed is there. Stephen still. And it comes to Sharp. He should have scored. And Reed has. It's 1-1. Everton have come back. With less than 10 minutes to go, Peter Reid has equalised. And they really worked hard for that. Sharp playing an important role then as he nicked it through. Stephen miscontrolled it as it happened and was a little bit fortunate then. Sharp once again clipping it towards the far post. The keeper saved, but Reid followed up well. 1-1. So the visiting fans celebrate. Harper, who's done very well since coming on as substitute, important in the opening stages of that goal. Everton's persistence paying off. And Peter Reid, the old war horse, getting the equalising goal. Well, we had a disappointing first half. The second half hasn't been. The football, not always of vintage quality, but the incidents have flowed freely. said that with a game that could have been decided by a single goal it still could of course but we've had two now in the space of a few minutes Sharp missing his header Madden for Wednesday free kick given to Sheffield Wednesday Harper's foul on Marwood excitement isn't over yet in this match because certainly Wednesday will know they'll have to really go for a winner they won't relish the thought of going to Goodison on Wednesday and it might be happy with what they've got at the moment Harry Mays did an header Pearson goes up Ooh, the boot was from Watson and a little collision between Watson and West in the penalty area which unfortunately for that wasn't seen by the referee Madden slips and had time to regain his footing staring stuff now all right been a long time coming but it's real top tonight football at the moment and Marwood is fouled by Stevens and for Wednesday's free kick excellent to Sterling good looking cross towards Chapman oh it and can Marwood get it no he couldn't well Chapman nearly forged a winner then from that Sterling cross Everton certainly had fortune on their side then. And I must say, overall, a draw, probably a fair result. Everton had a lot of second-half possession, and indeed, it has resulted in them earning the replay at Goodison Park on Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday won, the scorer, Colin West, is 11th of the season. Everton won, the scorer, the inspirational Peter Reid. And Everton, with their superior record in recent times over Sheffield Wednesday of Goodison, will be very confident that they can make progress in Wednesday's replay. But they'll know that Sheffield Wednesday will battle every inch of the way, and this tie is far from over yet. Not a classic football match, but some fine, entertaining, incident-packed football, particularly in the second half. Full-time score, Sheffield